I was always searching for the highest quality cannabis. Well, it turned out, if you want something done right, you're just gonna have to do it yourself. Welcome back to Vader Vision. We have returned, or I have. We did some maintenance. It's been like three or four weeks, so we're just going to play some Back to the Future uploads for the next few days of just playing catch up until we are live back in the garden. Starting off, I'm going to move this six bulb that works with two bulbs over the workstation. I have an extra T5 that Ninja hooked me up with. Thank you, buddy. We're going to put this up for the moms. Directions, who needs those? Take out the foam inserts and we're good to go. Not too difficult. Gonna measure it out. It is a little wider than the other light. So you gotta shift one of these over, get enough room in the tray, connect her on up to some power, fire her on up. Works like a charm. All right, got a one and three eighths bit for the bulk headings. I also grabbed a res here from the hardware store. Just keeping it a little cheaper. Got all our parts set out. Gonna clean everything up as I go along. I'm also gonna put some holes in the top of the res. And same thing, clean it up as we go. Everything fits nicely. I am going to cut out a slightly larger hole so I can access the nutrient and water res. A little more room to work. Rah, feed me. Okay, install our fittings, cut our hoses to the appropriate length, and we're all set. Now we got the light in, we got the resin tray all set up. I'm gonna spread the moms on out, give them a little bit more room. In here, I did top off the reservoirs. This is our last week of nutrients for that side. This side, I went ahead, these ones blew up really big, so I'm just gonna start pulling them over with the yo-yos, just to give them a little bit of space in there so they don't bleach out directly under the bulb. On the OG tray, I am going to pinch and pull all of these down, kind of tie them down a little bit more. Houdini, we're looking really good. We did have a bud point of this already, so you've seen them a little bit farther along, but here, they were looking great. Coming right along in about six, six and a half weeks. Once I got all the water set, put our hose away, Check the mom res, top that off. A little light on the nutrients. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of our A and B, Canazyme and our Rhizotonic. Spread these girls on out. We got our key lime and our cookies. Went ahead and put the Obi-Wan male and our special project over there in the back. I did not put a brace in, so I had to put a temporary brace in. Just showing you guys that. Took some clones of all of the Jawa, the Malibu, and our Keeper Cut. Plus one I ended up throwing away, but I did take some cuts of it just in case, but I decided not to keep it. Taking cuts of the Key Lime. These are going to go into Gator's room. I needed clones for that room. So I'm taking those for that. So one Key Lime, and we'll also do a whole tray of cookies. Now, some of these rooters were a little drier, so I do soak all of the rooters. I do see that question often. So it is a good idea to soak the rooters. Try and keep the water off the plants as much and let the rooters adjust the environment in the humidity dome. So you can soak the rooters up a little bit, especially in the beginning. Set all the Girl Scout cookies on in in the cuts. Grab a label. And there we go. Now, Along the way, during the week, I always come through, grab some of the cryptic leaves that are starting to go, the ones that are going to fall off naturally. I don't want them dropping in the tray, and I just want to kind of beautify them up. If there are some yellow leaves, I don't get too forceful and rip them all out. Everything's looking good, just a little bit of maintenance, just kind of going around the garden doing little bits of maintenance. Keeping up on it, keeping everything fresh, nice and tidy. I did need to raise the light all the way up for the Empire. They stretched up pretty big on these Finos here. 
we let them stretch up a little bit more. Now I am going to do a little maintenance to the Empire cuttings that we are holding to see which one, if any, we want to keep. So I'm just going to kind of top them, keep them from growing up too much. Now these OB ones over here that were some keeper cuts, they were a little root bound. They look like they have a bit of a CalMag deficiency. I will add a little CalMag in if I need to, but everything else is looking good. So I'm going with, it was just a little root bound inside those cups because I've been holding them there, waiting to see which ones I wanted to keep, if any. So our veg room looking really good, just coming along, spreading everything out into the trays. We will ditch almost all of these Obi ones and these Empire, and we're gonna set room for all the seedlings that will pop coming up soon. Over in the flower room, this side, key lime looking really good. Next week, I'm gonna start their flush, and then this side will be cut down in a couple weeks. Although, you'll see that happen over the next couple of days. Checking in on our Obi Wan, everything is good, ready to go. So, Ninja came on over, rolled up some Obi Wan. Smoke some, try everything out, trimmed everything down, jarred it, it's ready to go. I did drop off some of this at TLPCLA, so if you're interested in trying some of the flowers and you're in the SoCal area, you can head down there and try some of them out, especially this number six, this is our ghost grenade, this is the one I ended up keeping, and I will release this cut. Of course, we only had one plant of this particular strain. I did keep the cuts, so we will release it, but if you don't make it down there in time to try this particular one out, Keep an eye out for cut releases in the future. Okay, everything turned out fantastic. Thanks for the help from Ninja. Thank you, buddy. Trimming, all that good stuff. I think we both agreed that every single Fino is jar worthy in the Obi-Wan, so we were super stoked about that. Okay, I will be back for some more Back to the Future uploads coming up in the next couple of days to catch up. Remember, if you wanna help support Vader Vision, spread some love and hit that like button. Leave an aloha in the comments and share with your friends or subscribe if you're new. Until next time, I'm Vader and I'll see you later.